Hi everybody, welcome back to Donna and Chrissy's Tea Time. Tea Time on Thursdays, every Thursday. Hi. Stay tuned. This is my daughter Chrissy, and she is still practicing for her real estate exam. So stay on her butt. <laughs> and I am Donna L. Hallman, I work with Brokers Realty Limited, also known as thebrokersrealty.com. So don't forget to subscribe, sign up, go to my website if you're looking for a house or a home. So we're here to help people navigate real estate. So the last episode that we discussed, the last tea time, was um, our interview with the home inspector. What is the process of purchasing a home, how to look for it, how to choose your realtor. And now we go into, and we went into the home inspection, you get approved for your mortgage, now the offer was, you made offer, the offer was accepted, the homeowner agreed to the offer and remaining, keep everything on the mortgage remaining. So when you did the mortgage loan, make sure that all, everything that you did at the time that you did the application remains the same until you get the keys in your hand. So when we meet with a realtor, and say we're coming to meet with Donna. How do we go about the process of meeting with you and what do we expect? So, first of all, you wanna give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see my number down below. And what I'll do is we'll get together. And first of all, and foremost, I really enjoy making new friends. And I love to be able to help my clients um, get through the processes easily and as quickly as possible. And that's why the Brokers Realty is called Real Estate Simplified. And what I do when you come in, we're going to offer this buyer's packet. And here's my name down here. <laughs> and we'll go through the process together. There's several things in here that you will fill out together, we'll talk about, and what you're looking for. And the main page, and I will add that to the video shortly, is our process here and this is our circle and it's called the buyer's advance let's see home buying <laughs> process and Chrissy is going to <coughs> ask some questions about this little home buyer's process okay so we have we have our, our visitor he's coming <coughs> over camera <laughs> all right Okay, so we're gonna talk about the process. So first you wanna pick, choose a realtor. Why is it important to choose a realtor? Because they can help you navigate through the titling, the mortgaging, the home inspector, the appraisals, and they can keep the appointments when you are busy and that's what you hire the realtor for is to just help through that process. Because when you win, we win, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> And you have to keep your appointments. <laughs> yes, it's definitely important to keep your appointments because if, if say, there's an appraisal that day or an inspection that day and you want to make an offer, we have to get this all done to get the offer in to the seller before another offer comes in. And if you really like that house, it could slip through your hands just because you forgot an appointment. So even though we make the appointments or the realtor, your realtor will make the appointment, uh, and I assist, but yeah. <laughs> when you make your when you make your appointment, you want to get to it and uh, have it complete, so that way we can say, okay, this is done, this is done, this is done. Well, let's make that offer and let's get you the house. Good We're job, Chrissy. <laughs> Thank you. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go into the buyers, the home that's buying that. process. Yep, and that's that little circle we're gonna put online for you too. Okay. So when you meet with your real estate professional, then they'll advise you to get pre-approved. And that pre-approval process is meet, meeting with your mortgage bankers or a bank that you choose that you're comfortable with and say, hey, listen, I'm interested in buying a house. Here's my credentials. Here's my, uh, my expenses. Here's my income. What can I approve for and how much house can I get um, for this amount? And then they'll get back to you about what you're approved for. Once you are approved, then we'll go into searching for a home. So now that you know what number, what number area you're going to go into. What number price you're looking for. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What number price you're looking for, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, 
and the vicinity that you like, then we'll go in as a, uh, as a realtor and try to narrow those down to everything that you do like. Sometimes it may have to give or take. Maybe you like this, but it doesn't have this. Or maybe you like this, and but this has to be negotiated. So we'll go into that process. And then once you discover that, okay, this is the house that I want. I know this is perfect for me, this is perfect for my family, or this is perfect just just to have. So then we'll make an offer. Okay, so once we found the house and we, we love it and we're ready to make that next step, uh, um, then we'll meet, we'll make an offer. Then once we make the offer to <laughs> the writers, the, once the seller's the, agent, that okay. would be the listing agent. So once we make the offer and the seller's agent accepted, the seller accepted the offer, then we'll come in with the home inspector and they'll say, well, this is what we found and you can either counter offer or you can stick with the selling price that we're, that you initially wrote down. So now that we have negotiated the contract and then we put in any contingencies like, well, if we or accept this, unless we discover something else, we can put that into the contract. Then we'll go into escrow. Yeah, our appraisal, our appraisal is next. The bank has to know that the property is at the right price in order for them to lend you money. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The appraiser. Okay. So we bring it. So, so yes. That's why I apologize. So we recap that we would have to meet with the appraisal just so that the bank can say, okay, this is the right dollar amount for the area, for the market, and within that area. And then, when is the process? Do we go into escrow once and then after that once it's agreed the bank agrees the uh, title company agrees now you're going to set your closing date your final you know do some final final details and that's to perform some of the due diligence that we already talked about appraisal um conduct an inspection and review your terms with the lender like if you chose fha va or any other type of loan like conventional you want to discuss that process with your lender then okay okay and then once you get to your agreement with your lender then we'll go to the next process and that is a closing date okay <laughs> and once we get to that once we get to that closing date then it's just signing and you'll receive your lots keys. of signing <laughs> then we'll hand over your house and it'll be a perfect uh, union between realtor and buyer yes well if you haven't subscribed to our channel you can go back and refer to the previous channels as to what we're talking, what, about. What we're talking about and how we received how we came to this final conclusion but in the future we will go into detail on meeting with a professional um, professional agent on selecting a house we will go into more detail about pre getting pre-approved how, how that process goes and possibly meet with mortgagers or a mortgager to say okay this is how the process goes so look forward to the next videos and click and subscribe yes <laughs> again Donna L Holloman and Christina Holloman tea time with Donna and Chrissy thank and, you for coming by and we'll like to give a Click a quick shout out to Roxanne Glisten Glam for the apparel today. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, <so> Thank Roxanne. You. <laughs> Thank you. And again, tea time. Tea time with, with Donna, Donna and Chrissy. Chrissy. Click and subscribe. Yay. <laughs>